Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Vasmer and I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys what I learned at convention this year. I just got back a few days ago, so I'm really excited to share with you um, tips and tricks on how to grow your business. This isn't just for a paparazzi business. This could be for any business that you guys are doing. So I hope this helps anyone out there. Now, we just moved. That's why I'm in a different background. But how cool is this background? Look at that. We have a view of the pond every morning I wake up in our bedroom, in the kitchen, anywhere we are, view of the pond. How gorgeous is that? So I thought, hey, why not? Why not do my uh, YouTube video here right in front of the pond? I'll be back to my bling room soon, but it's still kind of under construction and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So, as you know, Chloe, you guys all know Chloe up there. She has to sit on my head no matter what I'm doing, so I just roll with it. She's attached to me 24 seven. All right, are you guys ready to learn the things that I learned. I wanna share so many things with you guys. It was very, very inspiring. Convention was so inspiring, you guys. If you have a business, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this. I took notes. Here we go, took notes. So obviously I have to look down at them. I just wanna to touch on a few of the main important points that I think will help anyone out there running their business. So we listened to a uh, guest speaker. His name was Eric Thomas. Awesome, awesome motivational speaker. I wrote down a lot of what he said. So let's start from the top. This is a quote that I absolutely love. Whatever we believe, whatever we believe in this hour will happen when we leave here. So no matter where you're at, whatever you are believing that is going to happen, generally it's you can make it happen. It's going to happen, but you have to believe. And that's where a lot of us struggle because we don't believe that it can happen. We don't believe we can be successful. We don't believe that we can, you know, be in a, in a position to make good money with our direct sales company, but that's just simply not true, you guys. Okay, number two here. He said three things. I can, I will, and I must. And he made us repeat that over and over again. The I can means we have the ability to do it. The I will means I'm going to execute it. I will. And the I must means people are counting on us, right? So I can, I will, I must. Those are three things I say over and over in my head because it really gets me pumped, especially when I'm working on my business. The next thing here, let's see. Oh, this is a huge one. Do not waste energy trying to show people your vision who bring you down. Don't even waste your energy doing it. Do not make time in your life for people who are going to be naysayers that bring you down. You don't have time for that, especially when you're trying to run a business. No, we do not have time for naysayers. So tell those naysayers to hit the road. You got a business to run, right? All right. This quote is awesome. And if you guys follow Eric Thomas, I'm sure you've heard it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And he was talking to us about are we giving it 120%? That's like my new quote now. I wanna give everything 120%. Most people could not raise their hand for 120%. Most people couldn't raise their hand for 75%. A lot of people raise their hands when he asked if you're giving it 50%. So imagine what you can do if you are giving your business and anything else in life 120%. That's huge, you guys. Get that in your head. I am going to give 120% no matter what. And it's going to take a while to kind of like condition your mind into that, that type of thinking, but it really works. I've already started doing it myself since I came back from convention. Let's see. Oh, this, this is a perfect one. This business is not a hobby. Bottom line, your business is not a hobby. Now, if you are doing your business as a hobby, that is okay. You're going to get in return what doing a hobby, if that makes sense. But if you're treating it like a full blown business, you are absolutely going to get in return a full blown business. Girls, they only decide to bark when I'm doing a YouTube video. Girls, come on, come on, Phoebes. All right, what is next? 
Okay, it's not what you do, it's why you do it. Like, what is your why? A lot of people ask me that. What's your why? Well, I want to be able to afford the things in life that I couldn't before. Little tip, little story here that I have for you guys. I was able to, for the first time, my son needed an air conditioner unit for his apartment that he just moved into. I would have never been able to just go out to the store and pick up a window unit. Those are a couple hundred bucks. I, I didn't have the money for that, especially when I was working full time but only making part time wages. No. And I was able to do that thanks to paparazzi. So I was really excited. That may not seem like a lot to some people. It was huge to me. It was a big deal. And I felt amazing. So my why is definitely so that I can afford the things that I want to afford. So that I don't have to work a dead end nine to five job that I hate driving to. I used to do it, you guys. I did it for a long time. I would hate, that's a strong word, but I would hate driving to my job and I would just be kind of anxiety ridden about it the entire time I would be driving there. And I don't want a job that makes me feel like that. That's not good. That's not good for anybody. I couldn't give my best to the customers because I didn't like my job. So I love my job now. Absolutely love my job. Let's see here. What else? I like this one. See yourself the way God sees you. So some of you may not be, you know, religious and that's okay too. This is, I'm speaking to the people who are believers. See yourself as God sees you. And that is sometimes hard to do because God sees us as queens and kings. And we need to see ourselves as that as well. It's hard to do, I know. But again, if you just train your mind, it'll come naturally. Let's see. What? I'm the head, not the tail. I am a blessing. I'm the best, and I'm going to start acting like it. Well, that's self-explanatory right there. I'm going to start acting like that. I am the head. I am not the tail. I am a blessing. Positivity breeds positivity. That's the bottom line, and it's vice versa. Negativity breeds negativity. So if you guys are being negative, and that goes for anything. If you're being negative on your Facebook page, on any social media um, out outlets, if you are being negative, the way you talk, the way you go out in public, it just starts breeding negativity, right? So you want to make sure that you are positive. Train your mind to see the positive in things. I know that's hard to do sometimes. I get it, trust me. But the more you do it, it becomes easier. And then you can take that and do that in your business. Because the thing is, you guys, people are going to want to buy from positive people. It's just a known fact. Nobody's, wanna, nobody's gonna wanna come to me if I'm negative and they're thinking, why would I wanna you know, join her team or why would I wanna buy from her? Why would I even wanna be around her? She doesn't make me feel very good. So people are not gonna wanna come to you. They will go to somebody else they see being positive and upbeat and happy and makes them feel good. That's the person customers are gonna go to. And I wanna be that person. I wanna be the happy, upbeat person and Trust me, it works. Training your mind, it totally works, you guys. All right, I underlined this one right here. You are royal. Sorry, guys, I was looking I was looking through there out the window to see it's getting darker, but the pond looks beautiful still. You are royal, act like it, guys. Nobody's better than us. That's just negative thinking. Don't think that. Someone else is better than you. You are in your own journey. You are going at your own pace. Do not compare yourself to other people because we are all going at our own speed, our own journey, and that is what makes everybody different and unique. We are doing our own thing. So what else I wrote down? As you become successful, do not become overwhelmed. It's easy to get overwhelmed. Trust me, I've done it before. I'm thinking, can I do this? This is a lot of work, you know, and I have to stop and think about it. Okay, no. As you become su successful, do not become overwhelmed. It's it, it, Sometimes it happens. I know, guys. You just take a deep breath and say, hey, tomorrow's a new day, right? Um, God will be a blessing through me. And let me tell you, there is a lot of people that I have met that have been blessed through somebody selling paparazzi. Somehow they have been blessed. 
and it's amazing to hear these stories. I heard these stories so much during convention. It was awesome. Okay, guys, excuse me one second. Gotta let the dogs out. Come on, guys. You know, sometimes st stuff happens. I'm not even going to cut that out of the video. Why? Because this is normal everyday life. That's another thing, you guys. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Do not go um, and be this, trying to be this perfect. It just, it's not, it's not you. You know what I'm saying? People don't relate to that. People want to see normal everyday people. Like me, I got to go let my dogs out during a YouTube video. So be it. This is real life and people want to see real life. So when you're posting on social media or you're going live, you definitely want to be real life. Not phony, not somebody or not. People can actually see right through you. Believe it or not, people can see right through you. All right, it is going to be hard. I wrote that down. It's going to be hard, but it's worth the sweat, the tears, the, it's worth it all because if you love what you do, it is totally worth it. And I truly love what I do. And I have had some sweat and tears. Let me tell you. Let's see. What else? Be humble and be hungry. I liked that quote. Run your own race. Do not compare yourself to others. We already touched base on that. Comparison is the thief of joy. You do not want to compare yourself to others others it's not gonna work it's not gonna help you any you are in your business you go at your pace and you do you don't compare yourself to other people no excuses we can't fold every time something goes wrong right so we can't have excuses well I can't work my business because I have another job or I have five kids or I do this excuses they aren't gonna help you at all we we um what did I write down yeah, we have to expect things to happen. We just have to expect that, guys. We have to expect that maybe sales are going to be slow one month. We have to accept that maybe um, we lose a few customers due to, you know, their financial situation. Or, but then what do we do? We can find new customers. We can find other people to talk to. We can go out and just express our love for this business and our love for this jewelry. I mean, it's $5 jewelry, you guys. It sells itself. Women love jewelry. It's a known fact. Most women love jewelry, I should say. Okay, please hold. Gotta let the dogs in. Please hold. Of course, they do this right when I'm doing the video. Girls. And we're back. Okay, see, that didn't take long, right? Let's see. So this is a, ooh, you guys, this is a really good one. Wake up every day and decide how it's going to work, which means on the days you want to give up, keep going. So you wake up in the morning and you decide how that day is going to be. Whether it's already been a bad day the day before, you get to wake up new every day. It's like a blank page in a book. Every single day is a new day. So yeah, you had a bad day yesterday. Guess what? The next day, tomorrow's a new day, and you get to decide how that day is going to go. How you choose to react to negativity, how you choose to react to the naysayers or things that may go wrong in your life that day. It's how you react, and yeah, sometimes it stinks. It really does. Things happen, and it stinks. But you you know what I do? I really try to take what they were saying, the speakers were saying, and really work that in my life like I'm gonna decide how I react to these situations and it's like a light bulb went off in my head the other I think it was last week maybe say or the two weeks ago sales weren't very good you know it's summer people are out doing stuff they're not shopping as much that's okay because in my mindset I said you know what fall is coming and what do people want to do in the fall they want to shop why do they want to shop? Because it's the holiday season and you're just, everyone's just trained to shop for the holiday season. Even if you don't want to, you still do it. <laughs> so then I'm like, how about this? While I'm waiting for things to pick up, why don't I revamp my bling room? Why don't I talk to more people, you know, outside? 
where I, at stores, why don't I figure out maybe some new things that I can do during my live sales or during my album sales, fun and exciting giveaways. How can I do some contests to get people on my page and really get people talking and sharing stuff and really just getting your page out there. All this stuff you can do while you're waiting for things to pick up in the fall. Genius, right? I tell you what, this is why it's important to go to convention, you guys. And if you are watching this and you are not a paparazzi consultant, but you happen to stumble upon my video, I am glad that you are here because I love answering questions. I love it. I'm excited when people come on board and they want to join my team because I get to be, I don't like to use the word sponsor, but I get to be your mentor and I get to help you succeed and I get to just, we're one tight family. We're one great big family and I love that too. Here's a good thing. Don't wait. Here's a good thing I wrote down. Don't wait for anybody's approval. Mm -mm, don't do it. You don't need anyone's approval at all. Again, I wrote down, stop worrying about everyone else. I, I wrote these down, these same things down a lot because they really spoke to me. Find, finding joy is a choice. Your, your happiness is not based on anyone else. Your happiness, you guys, is not based on anyone else. That was such an awesome one. This one's even amazing. Find a way to bring other people joy, pouring into others, giving them joy, whether it be handing out a free uh, piece of bling, a free piece of jewelry in a, in a blessing bag, telling the cashier at Walmart, thank you for all you do. Find ways to be, bring joy to others and be a blessing to others. Now, we don't need to go spread that all over and go, look what I did, look what I did. That's not what we're supposed to do. We're just supposed to find a way to pour into others, treat others, I know this sounds hard, but treat others, put others above yourself as far as like customers. You want to treat your customers like gold. You want to go above and beyond for them. Now, I'm not saying let customers walk all over you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying make sure you are loving on your customers, being kind and um, caring to your customers, asking them if there's anything you can do for them, thanking them for each week when they purchase from you. Customers make up your whole business, you guys. And I know a lot of you know that no matter what company you're in. Uh, let's see. All of us have struggles in this business. True. We all know that. Get up every day and be better than yesterday. That is fantastic. Just like we touched base on that. It's a new day. Get up and be better than yesterday. Now, look. This is a good one. Look in the mirror because that's your only competition. Wow. 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 Consistency. I have talked on that before. Consistency. What does that mean? It means being consistent so that your customers know when to find you. They know where to find you. They know how to find you because you've been consistent every single week. For me, I have been doing lives every Sunday night at 7 o'clock. I've added some since then, but since the beginning two and a half years ago, I have done a live every single Sunday. So my customers know when to find me, how to find me, where to find me. They just know Sunday night, Danielle is going live. And I've done that for two and a half years, believe it or not. If I've had to miss due to being out of town or being at convention, I always at least do an album sale. I still do something on that Sunday just so people, you know, they know Danielle's Sunday night. So consistency is a huge deal, you guys. It may not seem like a lot right now, but in the long run, it's a big deal. And that is how your business will succeed and will thrive with amazing, loyal customers being consistent. Again, with the negativity, I wrote down, don't accept negativity. It can spread like a virus. Shut it down right away. End of story. You shut it down right away. Oh, you can't see the pond anymore. Now you just see a... Now you just kind of see a glare in the window of my, of my kitchen, but that's okay. Just like when you guys, when I do these YouTube videos, they're not for glam and they're not for, for anything like that. I'm doing it to help anyone out there that might need the help. I'm not trying to edit videos and make them, you know, spectacular and this and that. I just want to help anyone that's thinking about joining, anyone that is a consultant, anyone that has questions. Maybe um, your upline isn't doing this anymore and you have questions. You can always come to me. I love helping people. 
It says, I'm, okay, we have the opportunity to make a difference in someone's life, even if they aren't buying. So if somebody is watching you, and they, trust me, people watch me a long time and they don't even buy anything. But if somebody is watching you, you never know why they're watching. I've had people say I, they watch me because they, you know, are feeling down and they like how funny I am and how upbeat I am and they like all that. So I found that amazing. I'm glad I can help someone. Do they have to buy it from me? No. No, they don't. They're just watching and that's good enough for me. This is a good one. When you don't have a plan B, you have to make plan A work. Boom. <laughs> When you don't have a plan B, you make plan A work. My goodness. Some of these are awesome. Now, let's talk about a few tips to expand customer base. Those of you who are having trouble expanding customer base. We have consistency, you wanna keep up on your inventory, and you wanna be entertaining. Those are three things that go hand in hand. Consistency, keep up on inventory, so you have new inventory all the time, and be entertaining. Whether that means, you know, wearing a silly pair of glasses while you're live or, you know, just be yourself if you're a jokester. Be a jokester while you're live. Just entertainment. People want to see entertainment. That's what they watch. Be excited for your customers. Be excited for them. When you're showing the jewelry, you're not saying this is, you know, just a pink necklace. You're going, look at how pink this is. Neon hot pink. Hello, gorgeous. Talking like that. It makes all the difference in the world, trust me. And it's fun, and you can have fun with your customers. Be excited for them. Customers want to feel appreciated and loved, and they want recognition. So even if you're just saying hello when people are coming on your live, or you're messaging people, hey, I uh, hope you have a good day today, just they want to feel appreciated. Customers always want to feel appreciated. It's a known fact, you guys. Uh, treat your customers like royalty. We touched on that. Lifestyle posts, interactive posts. And what I mean by that is when you are posting on Facebook. A couple months ago, I posted one that I had Starbucks in my hand and my son had Duncan. That's an interactive post, okay? It said, and I think I posted, which do you guys prefer? We're having a Duncan Starbucks war. I swear I got like a ton of engagement on that. So engage, engaging posts on Facebook are amazing. It gets people talking on your page. It gets people communicating, talking. They're going to put you in the algorithm. And that's just a simple post. That's just a simple post on your Facebook page, you guys. So interactive posts are a lot of fun. You can say, hey, I have to wear this today. I'm going to a special event. Which necklace do you like better? This hot pink one or I have this one over here. And people will engage and talk to you and be on your page and put you first in the algorithms. It's really simple to do, you guys. And, and engaging posts are so much fun. I love them personally because I like to see what people have to say. That's why I love engaging posts. Those are my favorite. If you are a consultant, you need to be wearing the jewelry. If you are not wearing the jewelry, why would anyone want to buy from you, right? Wear the jewelry. Wear the jewelry, you guys. I don't go anywhere with, these are my favorite. This is my favorite combo. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without my jewelry. I love my jewelry. Now, there's been times where it's been six in the morning and I ran out and I only have these in, but no necklace or bracelets. That's okay, I still have these. Wear the jewelry, you guys. You are consultants. You are showing people you, you are what you stand for, how much you love paparazzi, and people will flock to you. They'll say, wow, I like that necklace. Thanks, it's only five bucks. Phoebe, come here. I don't know what she's doing over there. What are you doing, Phoebes? Embrace the unique things about you. You have specific strengths. You have strengths that maybe I don't. I have strengths that maybe you don't. Embrace the ones that you have. My thing is I love to talk. I love to engage with people all the time. I could be anywhere. I love to do that. Now, some other people may not have that. That's fine. What you need to do is find your specific strengths. And I wrote that and I underlined it too. I underlined it. You know I meant business, okay? Find your strengths and stop complaining about what you don't have. Because you know what, guys? Complaining is a, part, a form of negativity. Get it out of your head. Just get rid of it. Get rid of the complaining. People can feel your passion and positivity. That's true. Your people watching you or people out, you know, if you're out and about for the day, people can 
feel your passion and your positivity, just like they can feel your negativity. It's like it kind of radiates off you, if that, if that even makes sense. So make sure that you're trying to be positive. Let's see, if you sell it, sell it, share it, people will want to come to you and they will want to do what you do. It's just a known fact. So people say, how do I get people to join my team? You talk about the jewelry. You wear the jewelry. You share the jewelry with people. If people think you're being annoying on Facebook, they can scroll past you. They don't have to, you don't have to worry about the naysayers. Don't worry. Share your journey. That's a huge one. Share your journey. I try to share my journey as much as I can, just like when I shared about the me being able to buy the air conditioner unit. Share your stories. If you have them, people want to see you for who you are. Down to earth, share your stories, good or bad, just share them. People want to see the real you, and I cannot stress that enough. People want to see the real you, okay? What is your current why? Okay, so I wrote this down. There are going to be people that are watching you that you don't even know they're watching you, right? Don't make it about yourself. Make it about what you can do for them. How can you make them feel good? How can you help them uh, with dressing and, and matching jewelry with their outfits? How can you help them buy affordable jewelry? And how can you help them? Maybe, maybe they've been looking for this opportunity, right? Maybe they've been looking for a great opportunity to work from home like this. I know I was looking for it and I'm glad that I found it when I did. Because look at where I'm at now. I'm loving every minute of working from home. I know lots of people work from home and a lot of people love working from home. The reason I love it though is it just, it was what I was looking for. It was what I needed. I did not want to go to my job. I would get so upset every day driving to my job and that was taking a toll on me mentally and I didn't like the feeling. So there might be people watching you in any, what, like I said, whatever direct sales company you're in or whatever company you're in, there could be people watching you all the time that need, they need that opportunity too. So why not share it with them? You don't have to be spammy or salesy or anything like that. Just simply share the opportunity, what it's done for you and why you love it. You don't have to say, hey you, come join my team right now. That's not what we do. <laughs> We just share the opportunity and tell people why it's helped us and maybe it can help that person too. I know paparazzi has helped me a lot, a lot. I would never be sitting here doing a YouTube video, that's for sure, and now I love it. I found what makes me happy and I love doing these videos. I love doing live sales on Facebook. I love sharing the jewelry with everybody. I just love it, you guys. It's awesome. Okay, I think that is it. I think that's it. I have a lot of chicken scratch here, so I'm really trying to cover just the basis of what the notes that I took in convention. So you guys, I hope this helped you. Like I said, if you are just watching and you are, you just happened upon this video, please, please message me in the comments, leave comments, ask me questions. I will leave a direct link to my, what do I leave? I think I leave my business page where you can contact me anytime, and or my Facebook business page and then my website, I think. So you can contact me in a lot of different ways, you guys, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. I may not have all the answers, but I will try my best. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button down below. Click that little bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video, which I try to do weekly. Absolutely, remember the 120% I said. I need to do that, 120% is what I'm giving, right? <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helps somebody out there. And like I said, any questions, please reach out, don't hesitate. All right guys, until next time, I will talk to you later.